Amen. Leviticus chapter 6. Verses 12 and 13. Leviticus 12, verse 13, 12 and 13 is a familiar scripture. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. Burning in it. Be burning in it. Continuously. Without ceasing. Burning. It shall not be put out. Wow. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning. And lay the burnt offering in order upon it. And it shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offerings. Verse 13. The fire shall not shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Have you seen it? Shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Amen. I want somebody to read for me. Um, what is a uh, Reverend Reverend Splendor read Joshua 3 verse 13 and verse 15 and verse 16. Then I want um, uh, Tom to read 2 Samuel chapter 6 verse 11 and uh, Barokwe, since in the, the altar today, Barokwe, there are nothing else upon you. You and your wife, Bible school. You, you read Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 16. Alright? Yes, Joshua chapter 3, verse 13, verse 15, verse 16. Who read that one? And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. As soon as the souls of the as soon as the soul, the feet, feet of the, the priest, this is the God, look up, soul, 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 or the feet of who? The priest of the priest who bear the ark of the Lord. Who bear the ark of the Lord? The Lord of all the earth. Yes. Shall rest in the waters of yes. Jordan. Mm -hmm. That the waters of Jordan shall be cut off. And shall, the water shall be that no no cut off. no 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 go down shall be cut off not say cut off because all of us are not um in the in Oibu. they are not in they are not in America cut off cut off say cut off good go ahead sir and the waters that come down from upstream yes and they shall stand as a heap good Verse 15. Yes, sir. And as those who bore the ark came to the Jordan. Yes, sir. And those who bore the ark came to Jordan. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. And the feet of the priest. The feet of the priests. Who bore the ark. Who bore the ark. Deep in the earth. Yes. Of the waters. Good, sir. For the Jordan overflows. Jordan overflows. All is banked. All is banked. During the whole time of harvest. Yes, sir. Verse 16. Yes, sir. That the waters shall come down from upstream, stood still, and rose in the heap very far away at Adam, the city that is beside Zeratan. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. the waters that went down into the sea of the Arabah the salt sea failed. Failed. And right. we are cut off. Stop. Amen. Stop there. Stop there. Chapter. Um, that they are reading that okay, chapter 6, 2 Samuel, verse 11. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obed Edom. The, the ark of the Lord stayed in the house of Obed Edom. Calabaman. Obed Edom. Go ahead. 
the Gittites, the Hittites. And the Lord blessed Obedidom and all and his And the household. Lord blessed Obedidom. Obedidom. Jehovah Mudum. How many months did he stay in this house? Three months. How many months? Three. How long have you been in the church? And we cannot talk of blessing. How long? They are somebody hosted his presence. Within three months, there was a change. May we stop playing church? Come on, say amen again. Amen. Stop doing what? Playing Go ahead, sir. Chapter 7, second, second Samuel, seven. verse what? 7 to 7. Yeah. 16. Yes, yeah, sir. And their house and their kingdom shall be established forever before you. Good. Your throne shall be established forever. Good. 17. No, no, no. Can, okay. To be for clarity, read from verse 1 to verse 5. Okay. Seven, okay. Second Samuel 7, 1. To yes, five. sir. Okay. Now it came to pass. It came to pass. When the king was dwelling in his house. King David dwelt in his house. And the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies I all around. I tell you, I tell you. That the king said to Nathan, the prophet. Yes. See now, I dwell in the house of Seda. Good. But the ark of God dwells inside tent curtains. Tent. Then Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. Uh -huh. For, but it happened that that, that night, night that the word of the Lord came, came to Nathan and said, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, uh -huh. Would you be the house for me to dwell in? God bless us. Lord, bless your word today in our heart. Bless the preacher. Bless the hearer. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Say loudest amen. amen. The necessity of hosting the supernatural. Pay attention. Listen and listen good. The necessity of hosting the supernatural. It means for you to possess abiding presence of God. It means for you to, to be the carrier of his presence. It means to command abiding Shekinah glory to host the supernatural means to be in intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Stop walking around. Yes, I will play host for you today. Please. Stay where you are. We have played a long time with the Holy Ghost. And I will not remember how it is today. To host the supernatural is to be in partner with the Holy Ghost. Partners with the Holy Spirit. In partners with the Holy Ghost. That's why a man that built that God through him um, have the light yes attendance in the church, in the whole world. His name is Yonggi Cho. You know the book, The Holy Ghost, My Senior Partner. That book changed my life. Everybody, even Baba Deboye, learned from him. When you are in partnership with the Holy Ghost, it means you are hosting his presence. Two of next. 
hosting the supernatural is to be baptized in the Holy Ghost with evidence of tongue talking. To allow the giftings, the gift of the Holy Ghost to operate through you. To host his presence katalaka pratana is for you to respect value his presence to maintain his presence value is his presence respect his presence as time permit me I will open the scripture by the grace of God I am led under the influence of the Holy Ghost Stop playing church. God has decided, determined that every believer should play host to his presence. That's why he said in the scripture, your body is the temple of our Holy Ghost. Come on. So when you become the temple of the Holy Ghost, means you are hosting his presence. You host divinity. God the Father, God the Son dwells in you. That is the difference. It is the intention of God That you should host him. It is not meant for only Paul and Nature. Paul and Nature, no. All of us. So he said, in the last day, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. So why do we go? Now, you see, that's, this shall be a yearly program. He says, the believers revival fire conference 2020. Christ started next year. We will go for two weeks. Believe you me. Why do we go this way? Listen again. May God hear us today. Come on, say amen. amen. All right. Two. The fire represents his presence. His functions in our lives. The fire of the Holy Ghost keeps you moving for God. So we'll explain as time goes on. I believe God will use the guest speakers. All we we'll have this week is prayer. Pray in your house. Fast and pray in your house for this program. Alright. So why do we Call for reigniting revival fire. It's because we fail to host the supernatural. So revival fire is lacking. So when we go back to the uh, hosting the supernatural, please pay attention. So the necessity, therefore, is to reignite. The fire of God in our lives. Am I communicating? Now, where you've read the book of Leviticus, what did he say? The fire will burn continuously on the altar. Number two, the priest should offer the wood. Next, the priest will also offer the sacrifice. Next, the priest is the custodian of the consistency of the burning of fire. Huh. Hear me again. The fire should not go out. The fire represents the manifestation of God's presence. The fire is the evidence 
of the inward presence of, of God you carry. When you carry his presence inwardly, it will evidence in outward fire. Huh? And what gives credit to this fire is the wood you gather. The wood is the word. So the fire is the evidence of the inward power, inward grace, inward presence of the Holy Ghost to carry. It's not meant for only pastor. It's for everybody. So it is a responsibility of you and I to host his presence. Number one, by consistently, continuously gather the wood. What study? Because the word is fire. What makes the fire burn is the word you gather. The Holy Ghost cannot separate his presence with his fire with the word. Come on. Number two, the altar is no longer a stone, the physical stone you gathered in a particular place. Like in those days, gathered stone, Elijah gathered stone. How many stones? Twelve. The occurrence. According to the number of who? Covenants. So, the Ahab and Co. despise broke the altar of God. So when they called for fire for many days, the thing didn't come. So when Elijah gathered the stones and gathered what? The wood. And put the sacrifice and poured water. It didn't improve to one minute. Fire came. <laughs> so the altar of today, come on, are you with me today? Is no longer stone, grooves. Anywhere you go, and they got a stone. I said, climb, run from that place. And a church you go, somebody brings stone. Climb on the stone, sister, run. But I know that some of us women we not we like or supposed to put something. Stone. Don't let anybody tell you that Elijah carried a stone. Therefore, it is written, Elijah carried a stone and I got a stone. Yes, climb the, climb the stone. Don't go. Some of you you are so bad you like fake, fake things, fake, fake prophets, fake, fake nonsense things. May we return back to, to better. Thank God next year, next year is Tommy is like back to better. I should not cancel. So the absence of this knowledge makes believe I misbehave. So now the stone today is you and God. Let me start from uh, uh, yeah. we are lifeless stones. Living stones, a born again believer. We are the living stone, and Jesus is the chief corner. Come on, am I communicating? Clap, 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 clap. So, the order of today is no longer the, the time of the order of Old Testament. What it means that those stones of the Old Testament was a type, what a shadow of what we do today, what we are today. We are the reality of that shadow. Jesus is the chief cornerstone. Every born again believer, we are the living stone that God used to build his house. Hello. So now, the order of your life. Number two, number two, come on. Every believer today, believer today, they are the priest. Come on. That is what the Bible says. God has made us priests and kings. Unto who? Unto who? Uh, you are a woman, you are a priest. Man, you are a priest. Let me correct this. 
until Kemchima will come. If your husband cannot pray, you pray. Don't begin to brag. You are the husband of the house. He uh, doesn't, doesn't do your work. He come and do your work as a priest of the house. Don't. Don't do that kind of thing. If your husband will not pray, you pray. You are all priests of the house. I'm not communicating. Don't begin to blame your husband. <laughs> your prayer can change things. If you discover is weak in prayer, in, in, in the things of God, don't go and insult. He goes slap your mouth. And heaven will not do you, heaven will not do you anything. Heaven will not do you do him anything. If you know he's weak, then you weak, you weak, weak husband. You know, Sabi pray. You go, yeah, Bosa. God forbid. It will not happen in Jesus' name. You can only according to pray. But what I'm saying is that you are a woman, as a woman of God, you are a priest. Don't go and slap your wife. Oh. I'm saying, other we are not with you. You will hear, you will hear on Sunday, revival at home front. Anything I preach here, madam, madam, if God like, may God come here in person. If your home is not in order, no go walk. Yeah, I read in the story of um, Azusa Revival, one of the men that was a part to it, the cloud came, everybody saw the cloud. So he connected with his wife. As he connected with his wife, he ran to the revival. As he wanted to enter the cloud, the cloud pushed him back three times. He wanted to enter the cloud. The cloud pushed him. He fell to the ground. Get up again. Push him. <laughs> and then uh, push. To want to walk for God without reconciliation is the waste of time. True. God's presence may be real. Not everyone has access to it. The reality and the functionality of his presence can only be available, evidential, when you reconcile with him. Have respect for his word. The young man ran back to his wife. He said, Madam, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me? He said, yes, I forgive you. A man ran back. He entered the cloud. That's the key. That's why we are going back. Let God reignite the fire. Now, every believer, we are all priests. Priests. And the altar. So you have you you have duty. Number one, to gather the wood. Keep the fire burning. By avoiding wrong 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 doctrines. We you hear it today. It's a killer of anointing. Why are we going by? Because most of us we've ignored, we've quenched the fire. God said the fire on the altar must not be what? Put out. Is that right? In other words, it is, it is possible for the fire to put up. Paul said, quench not the spirit. So, one can quench the move, can hinder. It. To quench means to hinder. To stop the move of the Holy Ghost. In one's life. May God restore us. Ha! Ah, may God restore us! To come to church is good. It's not a problem. To come to church without his presence is very dangerous. So, when God said the fire should not be put, it means fire possibly can go out. Through the mistakes and carelessness of believers, through mistakes and carelessness, fire can be out, put out. Now, when fire goes out, what are the evidence? Number one, the zeal for God is dead. Enthusiasm that makes you forward in him, close. When the fire is out, when, the, when God's presence 
It's no longer there. When the fire don't burn, uh, you lack direction. Fire gives direction. When the fire is out, interest for this of God will not be there. You will value yourself, value your business, value your market, value your wife, value your children than God. That's why you call evangelism. In fact, I go to see my brother. I go see my brother. In those days, in age, we respect our pastors. That's what we learn from. Obo was our, 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 Obo, let Obo was our. If, if you as a worker, you will not come to church or come to, come to what? Prep. You have to call either your pastor or superintendent to take excuse. No matter how cogent, how important is the excuse you have. To, uh, you can't absence yourself from God's prayer. It means you don't value God. So lack of value for God. Put out the light, the fight, or the fire. You come church when you want to come. The fire is quenched. I saw one sister this morning. I was, it's a choir. She looked at me now. She was, I saw her running to the church. Ah, so people still run to church this morning. People still run to church. The choir, she's looking at me now. I was I stand here. I stood here in the morning. I saw her running. I said, eh, there are people who still value God. You, are, you know you are late. You are still walking. Ma, the fire is not there. When the fire is out, sakaramba, no interest for prayer. Lukewarm, lukewarmness at the place of prayer is evidence of his absence. When you are pushed to church, the fire is absent. When you are afraid of what enemy can do or is doing, you are the fire is out. Because fire gives boldness for you to challenge the enemy. Fire. When your life is not exceptional. When you don't stand out in excellence, when you are not forward in the zeal for God like Elijah of old, the fire is absence. When at your, at your age in the ministry, the pastor is saying, why you not come to church? In fact, I was sleeping last night. I, my pastor said, please now, we don't, please I beg you, come to church now. You are a backslider, you are a baby. That's why you are long, long years in the church. Unnecessary, ungodly lies that you manifest, even in your secret. You can talk to your husband as if it's your house boy. The fire, you don't value God. The fire is out. You are here. You are here hearing me now. To come to church is good, but how do you address your husband at home? How do you address your wife at home? The fire is out. Sir, the fire of the Holy Ghost is not only to cast out demons, but makes you behave God. Come on. How do you address your husband in the, or your wife at home? When you don't value the fire, you don't gather the wood or the fire, and the fire is not burning, you behave anyhow. You can talk to a pastor in secret and public anyhow. In those days, I used to reply to those who talked against me. Today, I ignore them. Talk anything you want to talk. You will not come in there. We will come in, we will fight, we will, we will answer you in secret and in public. Before, before, there's a young man that came and talked to me. I said, May God judge you. Immediately, you see instant in judgment. Rash is all over the body. So I, I withdraw.
One day in alliance, I suspended one of my brother, one of my members. Behave! He almost died. So that day, from that day, people, when I give a commandment, one, one woman was telling me, were telling me how I am, I am the worst sinner, worse than, than Paul of Apostle. The only worst sinner in this house. When anger proclaimed me, was say, if you ever tell people about your mistake, then you go free. If you not, God, may God judge you. If you see dead, in anger. So when I learn, when, I, when there's anything I say to come to pass, I start saying evil. I say good. What do you say? He say, I say, may God have mercy upon him. God have mercy, please, my Father, have heal him. Don't talk anyhow. Why we need fire to reignite the fire of love, fire of value, fire of one another in the church is because. We have a Holy Ghost. When they call for prayer, uh, choristers, you are also a worker in the church, come for prayer, you don't come. If you don't value fire, the fire is out. Youth, what are the evidence of the fire you carry? In our days, I told you when I was a young, younger than you, or young like you, we are forward for God. Forward ever. Yeah. Prayer meeting we will be there. Vigil will be there. On our own, we will schedule vigil. Hmm. May God restore his fire. Yeah. Say loud and say amen. Say amen again, let me hear you. Amen. Say a loudest amen, let me hear you. Amen. Receive the fire in Jesus' name. Amen. I told people, look at say, look at. I, I told them in the morning, I was, I was also a song leader. I was also a chorister. I was a Sunday school teacher. I began with children teacher, teacher. When Ogumbala would say, come and teach um, the what do you call it, class now? New convert class. See deliverance, see healing. I will be singing the same song. The singing. See power move everywhere. Deliverance everywhere. I host. I hosted God's presence. When let's Reverend, I came to that church. He looked at me. He said, "Be my prayer partner, Reverend." Baba in the Lord. Come and small boy like me. Come and be his prayer partner. I should, I should call others to my pray with him. His presence. Something went wrong somewhere. Has been corrected. Hear me. Go ahead and sleep. Oh. When you sleep in the midst of fire, his presence. Why is it giving offering in the church is a problem to us? You can spend hundreds for yourself. But God, no, I'm not saying there are people that are willing, giving God orders of thousands. All right, all right. So, what must happen? God can restore his presence, he can revive us again. Come on, say amen. amen. Finally, why we don't see God says the Lord is the absence of fire. Oh, I know Mama Wunaya in the church. Mama Wunaya, oh my God, bless memory. I was the one. I and Reverend the ADS today, we are the one that carry, carry our cups. We carry our cups. Bam, to the grave. Two of us. We enter the grave. I love that woman. One day, Mama Wunaya came. You saw rain. Rain was falling. She stood and said, rain, pass over. Rain, pass over. Rain. Uh -huh. Rain, pass over, sir. A woman that carried fire. Ma, 
what is wrong with us, our women? When you carry fire, you will carry the gift of our Holy Ghost. I'm not a church. Even the church I've opened was built by my own ministry. I opened a job, a job or two. People that came say, Mama Unaya introduced them to my church. When I come to see my people, I said, ah, eat him. Where do you house people? I said, I go bring them come. The will people see you and follow God? The fire you carry, Mama, is it negative or positive fire? Is it the fire that would people would, uh, would away people from God or bring people to God? What gifts can you boast of? Man, when I will lead women to markets, and if I'm and I'm saying that as yes, he will call women on early morning, like I'm 10, between 10, can it trust? They invaded boundary markets. What are they wait for? This grammar is too much. This is too much. Gather women at that market. That's a place of fire. Youth, we are youth. My brother, see something happen. After service, we will hang our suit. Every corner of a jugular. Myself, A.G. Kanakolam, a worms, coca, and uh, others. We will hang up. We will dress, we will hang our suit. On the main road. We preach the word of God. We look at we see that these are not hungry people. We hang our suit and that boss and preach the word of God. Which fire are you carrying? Youths, where are you? Is God happy with you? That's why God said, Go reign the fire. The fire's absence. One day I was in the church. The Reverend Jesus said we should read the Bible. Every night, if you don't pray one hour, you don't, that, that night we never pray. So, when I read, it was my turn to read. As I was reading the Bible, we were falling under anointing. Fire. I have allowed this not to affect me today. I said no. Back to fire. May somebody here cast the fire. Yeah. Say it loud and say, let me hear you. Yeah. When you, you will stop behaving anyhow. Our first and second home is church. Was church. That time, even though I was living in one bedroom flat, one bedroom in a regular. How much did I pay that time? 10 million naira. 10 naira for one room. Ten, from 500 naira to 10 naira. So, I, we, we're comfortable in those days. Comfortable in one room. Bad cello. In good standing. But our home was church. Evangelism everywhere. When you lack what to do for God, you lack his presence. <laughs> oh God, I still have 10 minutes, 15 minutes. May God restore his fire. Say amen. Let me hear you. Say loud and say amen. May you never witness the fire. Come on, say let me hear you again. The necessity of hosting is present. Number two, it will offer solution to a generation. When you're a carrier, when you host God, you will be a solution to a generational problem. True. The priest that carried the ark, if their leg entered the water, that year, water overflow. Overflowing problem in your family, I waste you are carrying, or I waste you hosting God's presence. When you host his presence, that overflowed problem in your family will dry up. True. In the community, anywhere you go, he said, God said to Joshua, 
The solution to this, to this flood is, is in the hand of the priest. And you are the priest. When they host my presence, they that host my presence, when their leg enter into the water, they will have solution with that problem, without, with, with ease, without struggling. You see, why well, we struggle because we lack his presence. Check the Bible. When they enter into the water, no prayer, no fasting. The water overdo what? That will flow the water. Over itself. Dried up. May that be your portion. Anywhere you go, when you host his presence, you become a solution. Say amen again. Totally. Hosting his presence makes you a blessed one. He will bless you. You cannot host his presence genuinely and be poor. Obed Edom hosted God's presence. Abinadab hosted the same act for 20 years in his house. Nothing happened. Are you with me, church? Two persons here. One brother, one brother hosted God's act for over 20 years. Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. Do you know, you see why you must go back to the Holy Ghost? You are in the church for this years. nothing happened. No evidence to show. You must genuinely go back to the Holy Ghost. So the source of your presence, the source of your blessing is his presence. What do I say? The source of your words? Is his presence. Respect, value is present, and you'll be blessed. The man was for 20 years, the ark of God was in the house of man, no blessing. Why? I will tell you the reason next time when I have time to preach to you. Lack of reference for God's presence. So when Uza misbehaved, he died. And David said, who will, I'm afraid of God. He put the ark in the house of Calabar man. Put them, go. He was afraid. When they put the ark of God in the house, in the house of uh, Obedidom, he said he prepared his house. He prepared his children to, have, to host. Read Bible very well, very well. To host his present. Within three months, his life changed. Three months. Uncommon blessing. Blessing that commands national news. Three months. Three months. Sir, before this year is over, this church will see blessing. Amen. When we determine to host his presence. Say, oh Lord, I receive grace to host your presence. Stand up and say, amen, let us want to go. Stand up, I want to pray and close you. Are you with me? The secret to hosting is present number one is your desire for him. Your love for God. Shalaba. Your value for God. Your respect, your reference for God is a secret. The value for God's word, for his word, for his principles. I, I have seen bro brothers in the church, they don't make noise. They are not as vibrant to say that, to say as we, if you want to pray, they will say, Father, in the name, like the boy, Father, in the name of Jesus. But they are commanding results. They command resolve my brother. They didn't make noise. Why? They take time to fear God. They don't pray like leave evangelists. In the name of Jesus, fire, power. Now, yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your fire work for me. Elijah suddenly shout as we shout today. Say what? Because principle we are in place. He said, Father, let them know that you are sending me. 
Oh God, hear me. Bam! Reference, respect for his principle, for his ways, for his words, for his will, for his person, for his presence. Guaranteed, reigniting his fire and consistency of his fire. And you will command irrevocable results. Be it in service or in blessing. Don't play church. I have only one prayer to pray with you. And I go, I'm going somewhere. One prayer point. What is it? Okay, you pray two prayer points in one. Two prayer points in one. Mention if you so much desire. Sir, ma, you, you can't nobody succeed. Love matters nothing without his presence. Not nothing. Nothing happened. Christianity is nothing without his presence. Until this church was his presence. Ah, God forbid. Ma, go down on your knees. Women, come for prayer. Come and roll on the ground. Lord, manifest your presence. You, the same thing. Men, the same thing. Hmm. Not this church. You can't do anything without his presence. He told his disciple, don't go anywhere without my presence. Go and wait. He shall receive power. Then your life will be relevant. Mention the name once and pray. Father, everything that hinder me not to host your present, take it away. In the name of number two from today, may, may you reignite my fire. Holy God, return to me with your fire. In the fire of my heart. Holy Ghost, I am their temple. I'm, I'm, I am the home of your present. Do it on that two minutes. Mention the name once and pray. Want to go? Pray that prayer for yourself. Pray. 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 Are you praying? Look at how you are praying. We prayed in Jesus' name. I have laid the foundation. Why we need fire? Begin to prepare yourself. Fire come when you pray. In your houses at home. Even tomorrow, tomorrow evening, Tuesday evening, Wednesday evening, I'm going to pray for this revival. As you pray for Ekpemadu, we pray for revival. If you are hungry for God in your houses, wake up at night. Say, Father, reignite your fire in my life. I'll explain things to you. I want to explain. And I believe that God will use these uh, people to explain more to you. I've given you how, how we are going what I'm doing is to prepare your heart for revival fire. Yes. Can't be alone. Now, listen, listen, hear me. Hear me. His presence will fight your battle. Amen. Say it again. His presence will fight your battle. Amen. Again, his presence will fight. God's presence will do what? I, I will explain that one. Here is one. The ark of God. That could not defend his student. When they put the ark inside the, the what? Obedi um, Dagon. Listen very well. In chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 4, 3, 5, chapter 4, chapter 4, the ark could not fight for his student. They brought the ark to the, to the battlefield. They raised the song. They sang the song. Bible say the earth shook. It was an empty song. 
Not every song you sing and jump, God is there. No. The people they sang the song, are they, how holy are they? Read very well. When they listen, they saw the ark, they, 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 they were defeated. They said, bring the ark. When they brought the ark, and then they song. Jigova, Ibu di Kenaga, Ibu di Panume, Idebu Be, Ahagi, Neke was in Mary, Natu Pajomo, Nemega. They clap hand. I would say the head shook. When the unbeliever had it, he said, Ah, this is the God that deal with, deal with Egypt. The unbeliever began to enumerate the numbers of his wonders. He said, Woe unto them, this God who will deliver us. But alas! God failed to walk. To come to church without observing his principle is error. To come to church and you don't have value for his word is an error. Be careful. To come to church and you don't have value for God's word? Why? The sons of Eli, they were, they defied the temple. They didn't say anything. Your brother is in sin. He said, nah, I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. You and that brother are the same thing. Come and report to the pastor. We don't know what to do. They died. God could not fight for his children. The ark could not fight. The ark could not fight. God, that same ark that opened the Red Sea, that same ark that did wonders, could not fight. Why? He should and deliberately refused to follow his principle. When, they, when this, that same ark was taken to the house to dig on, the, the hand that defiled the ark was removed. And God took over. See God. See the gun. Well, I started. Bam! Bam! Before this week is over, his presence will fight the battle. Yeah. Say loud as him. Yeah. Say, oh Lord, I receive grace to host your presence. Say a name like thunder. Amen. Leave your hands. Leave your hands. I pray for you. Father, in all humility, you laid this in my heart. I pray for everyone here, your children. Oh God, every mistake, every error committed that hinder the flow, the wonders of your presence, all that we've done that quenches the anointing, Forgive us. In secret and in public. Every arrogant life we live in secret and in public. Every form of secret sin. Every form of disobedience. Coming to us late. And many others. Forgive us. Cleanse us. Oh Lord, let today be the beginning of the returning of your fire. Holy Ghost, we cannot do without you. You are the shepherd of our soul. We are the sheep of your shepherd. Holy Ghost. You are the G.O. of the church. I stand as your servant. I cry on, every, on, on behalf of everybody here. All that we've done. Individually, collectively. That hinder the flow of your presence. Lord, forgive. I speak with the blood of Jesus. Let our front today as you forgive us. We will come to church and the church will benefit us. We will come to your presence we will benefit from you, oh God. Help us, Heavenly Father. Restore your presence. Restore your glory. Restore your fire. In the name of Jesus. I pray with passion from my heart. Oh Lord God. Give us grace to host your presence. You are willing you, that is your willingness that we should host you. We want to work with us. Return to our loving one. Return to every one of us. Yeah. And from today, we will see wonders in our midst. The fire that was quenched, reignite them, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. It is done. Yeah. We pray and believe in Jesus' holy name. Yeah. Say amen. A clap offering for Jesus Christ, have you said? <laughs> Sorry, I started by nine o'clock. I have to stop by. I have laid foundation for the fire. Prepare your heart to receive the fire. Prepare your heart. Christ said, I am coming very soon. Prepare. It's coming. So the fire will come on a prepared heart. 
So preparation precedes manifestation. Prepare yourself, your family. Tell them. Nobody should be absent. Tell them. Expect, be, 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 be expectant. Plan with your family. Call, invite your neighbors. But so doing, you will see God. In Jesus' name. Please, I'm running to answer a call at uh, Kufroji Street. I will soon come back. After the prep, let all the youths gather. You president, where, is, where are you? Uh -huh. Gather all the youth, talk to them about this program. Plan it. All the youth gather, all the women gathered and talk about this program. Go out, tell people about it. Don't be, don't be outside. From next Sunday, invite others. Amen. Amen. Sunday is, um, no, sorry, from tomorrow, we are praying for a prayer and revival. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday evening. If need be, we call vigil. Yes.